Uh, right, so just watching well now. Uh, apologies about the lighting. I'm going to switch the camera off actually. Uh, here we go. I've actually been playing uh, the Drek Fear for quite a bit, actually. And, uh, it's got Quell de yeah. This is what the new characters look like when you uh, create them. It's an old and uh, another new one. Might just actually just get rid of this one, to be honest. And uh, since it's for guide dogs, we should probably select something that is a dog. Uh, yeah. could just play an existing one which is a dog yep the dog that is a sniper or we could just play some pvp to be honest uh, apologies if you know I keep moving my mouse up here it's more to do with because uh, I actually use a screen reader for things and a magnifying glass to read things. I would pretty much turn the camera off for that reason because you'll just see my giant forehead uh, sticking strong. out of the screen. And together we shall venture to the Dragon Isles. Yeah, you probably will just see my you know, giant forehead stick out of the camera. Uh, Okay. Mm. Uh, not sure if I should go for epic or random epic. Anyone generally knows? Yeah, apologies, just trying to find chat on this thing. I'm actually quite new to streaming, you see. No, I haven't been on Twitch in a while. Okay, here we go. We will go for... Well, should we go for a dungeon instead? Because we technically got you know, all the, you know, prerequisite, you know, uh, things for, you know, 
battlegrounds and things and stuff. No, we just go battlegrounds, uh, whichever is. It's actually one of the funniest things is that uh, the actual new race, Drekfear, have like bizarre mode and uh, when the human slash mode, uh, they have this, you know, weird thing which looks like, you know, they're doing the, uh, you know, there's that meme, there's that red one which looks like a meme basically, and uh, it looks like they're doing a meme run. This is basically what it looks like in the, the dragon form. Here we go. I personally think it looks a bit, you know, jokey because, you know, it generally just looks like a walking lizard, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, if you see it running, uh, if you get it to run. Uh, just a second. Here we go. It doesn't necessarily look threatening at all. You know, I don't think it looks scary in any way. It just looks like a lizard with wings, basically. Uh, there was actually wings you could buy with the, uh, you know, there was like a pack you could get uh, during the, uh, you know, before it actually got released, there was like a thing you could get if I could find it. For some reason it glitches when it comes to uh yeah it glitches a lot when it comes to you know the drag here in its sort of like you know dragon mode uh, let's see if i can find it here uh back yeah here they are there's these like wings you could get it basically looks like a wizard with just oversized wings stuck to the back which you know is quite hilarious if you ask me So basically, there's quite a few things you can do. So they've got this uh, living flame, which kills people, but you can also use it to heal. And uh, if you click Alt and press it, and then you can heal yourself. Uh, pretty funky, if you ask. Yeah. Look for any exit of this now. Here we go. Oh, here we go, it's straight. Too far away. Oh no. I was about to heal someone then. Or, you know, try and heal. Mainly prefer Death Knight when it comes to PvP though, to be honest. You know, this is basically a pushy button, you know, class slash race. Uh, Oh, it's that goblin theme tune. I think this is the, this is Motherload. So it's that. It's pretty much the goblin starting zone, but turned into a dungeon. Ah, I quickly heal myself. Hopefully someone comes and uh, does something. Right, let's heal this person. Oh, no. Uh. I am out. 
out of range. Got this. Hover over things. It would probably look something like Magneto or Fisherman if it was in, you know, the Visage mode, though. So. I must get closer. Oh no, I thought it would only die once in this. It seems to I seem to have died quite a bit. This obscure looking graveyard with umbrellas. This is basically that island where you know goblins like people play goblins start, so a lot of it is, you know, you know, quite big. It's one of the like uh just from a rough I'm sure. Not quick. Oh, here we go. Back here back again. Yeah, this is actually linked to the Azerite uh, mining in a battle for Azeroth. Got these boots in the trial make little bits of ice, you know, appear when you walk because I transmogrified them. They don't work as well. But I have a dwarf which, would, you know, it looks quite fun. You know, it's just like a mini man running around, you know, spreading ice everywhere. Uh, here we go. Must get closer. Too far away. Okay, there's this cool thing which does something. Oh, I should probably have used that when I was down there.
Ooh, well, that was surprising. I don't think any of this victory is due to me, though. See what gear we can actually like this because you know, mug five things it doesn't actually show any shirts or anything, just just the shoulder belt. Champion, preparations have been made. Nazgrim will tell you of the grim fate that has befallen our allies. Ironically, you have to flying for this thing, which don't have enough money for at the moment. Kind of funny, since it has things, but, you know, can't fly, you have to, like, unlock flying, which I haven't got on this character yet. And so, these were originally what you get when you do the starting zone, but I don't really like them. Stick with these, and then this is the uh, sword. Which, if you played the uh, Death Knight starting zone, you'll know what I'm on about. It's uh, well, not the starting zone, but you know, the Death Knight campaign. It's uh, called Quell Delar, and uh, there's like a an alliance version of it called Quell Serrar. And uh, basically, there's like this whole quest you do in Northrend to get it, and uh, you know, I generally just like it so. Put it there. There is like a dungeon I need to complete for Dragonflight. Can't remember which one it was. I think it's Oldham. Uh, nobody has Battle for Azeroth Dungeons on here for some reason. There is I don't necessarily because you know it's, you sort of like, there's like at least a minute of the you know flying Yeah, and that's about it really. It doesn't take you anywhere else. You just get trapped in the middle of nowhere. Oh no, and now we're getting attacked by Squawkin. But since we're high level, we just bash it and it dies basically. Uh, where even is this? Oh, it's right by there. Wait to get entered into a battleground. 
actually collected quite a few different toys during the other expansions. Uh, what did I get? This is Christmas one, which I don't know if it works during this time. Uh, there's this transmographer, uh, mogrifier guy. Looks like the ones you see in the uh, transmogrification uh, places. Uh, you know, you can actually buy this off the store, I think. But it will turn you into something random. Here we go, it turns me into a blood elf now. Or, I think it's a blood elf. Or a high elf. Not too sure, really. Generally looks more like a death knight. Yeah. Here we go, it does a little twirl before, you know, doing that weird, you know, meme run thing. The meme run from Jerry's mod, basically. Uh, what are the funny things have we got here? We've got this void totem, which will turn everything around us into the void, basically. Um, what else is here? Oh, we've got this Dark Rangers hood thing, which, you know, looks cool in general. Here we go, random troll village in the middle of nowhere. Uh, just a second, just check my film for a second. Was generally going to play a walk, and you know, because it's generally a dog, and you know, this streams for guide dogs, but uh, haven't actually brought a character boost yet, so uh, I'll probably uh, do that later. And then I thought maybe, you know, as a community, we could sort of like pick the class and uh, you know, talents for it. Would generally just be a bit more immersive, I thought. Mm. Uh, here we are, the random troll village in the middle. A random witch standing, staring at, you know, a pool with nothing in it. Another guy chilling here. Random wooden shacks. I'm actually glad that they added Zandalari trolls to this game afterwards. Yeah, there's this random thing. I uh, have to go now, but we'll see you guys later.
Uh, actually, I'll just stay here a bit, I guess. Alright, let's go and check out that Worgen then, because I guess we can still generally look at different classes and, you know, decide which one would look the best. Here we go. So we can have like a dog with, you know, a sword or an axe. A random dog with like a pet dog, which goes around hunting other things. Uh, a dog, which is basically a wizard. A dog which basically, you know, goes around stabbing people. A holy dog. A dog which, you know, summons random evil spirits. Uh, a druid. Or a death knight, basically. Uh, I think a... I think a hunter might work best for this, because then we get a pet dog, basically, which, you know, we can vote on naming. Here we go. Elphias, we can have other weird looking things. Anyone ever heard the saying that like when you see a dog's when the white when you see the white of a dog's eyes, it means you know the dog's gone mad basically. But uh Pink or purple is a nice colour. I can think of something random to call it, because I have no idea what to call a dog. I know that the, uh, what's it called, the, like, overlay is sort of blocking this out, but they've added quite a few different customization options compared to last time. And they've also unlinked them, so, you know, the human customization is completely different to the, uh, Wargan one. I just picked something random like this, because not actually going to use the human mode for this, you know, because this is about dogs. Yeah, well, let's think of an actual really nice dog name to call this. Uh, Fluffy. I think I probably want to start with the old... I'm actually debating should I start with the old one or the new one. I think everybody has probably already played the old one, so we'll go with the new one. Well, the name Fluffy has already been taken. Fluffball. Oh no, that name's taken as well apparently. Cool dog two thousand and five. Ah. 
here we go. That's a weird name, but it's the only one that's, you know, not been taken. I really think they should make, like, race-specific transmogs, because, you know, these just look ridiculous on this. Okay, so, uh, probably going to, uh, finish, you know, actually start, you know, the, uh, storyline for this later. It's in Exile's Reach, which is the new starting zone for new characters who haven't played in a while. And, uh, see you all next time, I guess, which will basically be tomorrow.